You start off your wipe, not knowing how many people you will play with. To stay flexible with your base, you slap down your classic starter, a 2x2 with unlootable, but then you learn that you will stay solo, here my solution so that your starter doesn't have to go to waste. Start off the building process by getting a 1x1 one one with singled ore down. This will later become your unlootable TC room. So place your TC down a bit more than halfway across the foundation and against the right side wall. A sleeping bag goes in front for some storage, a barbecue small box combo to the right of the TC. If it barely fits, you do it correct, and a campfire on the other side. If you want to make sure that the footprint will fit the area that you will live in, build it out like so. A 2x2 expanded to the opposite side of how the door opens, three foundations on each side, and three more of which two are raised on the far side from the TC, this will become your entrance. If you are sure you will be able to build it, add another square with a double door opening to the inside to form a temporary airlock. From this expand into the next two squares as well as the airlock which should point to the left. The square next to the TC will become a loot room. For this you can already get two boxes into the corner like this and then another two on the shelf above. In the inside you have space for your early game items such as furnaces, a tier 1 and then later a tier 2 workbench. With that tier 2 workbench you can craft two garage doors for the inside of the core. Next we will add some offline protection by upgrading the unlootable to metal. Here on the wall with the campfire place two drop boxes like this. Now on the inside activate the campfire and put on your flippers if you have them. Now get to placing the vending machine. If you want a more in-depth guide on how to place it that will be linked in the top right corner in the description down below. After the vending machine place down a locker. Here how to access everything. Rust the Saloon is a Rust gambling website with game modes like 50 times, Crash and now Coinflip. They are the first website to introduce commission free coin flips. They also offer a faucet where you can get free money. If you are interested and want to give it a go, use code DAFDAF in the redeem tab and get yourself your free 50 cents. By now you might want your entrance to be a bit more secure. For this start upgrading the foundations in the shape of the hourglass. Add an airlock on either triangle, I prefer the right one, and windows on the other slots. Build your bunker like this, with two half walls on top of each other, and then destroy the lower one. To get to the same height, we will add some half walls here, to create this little space. Cover in the roof with floors. Behind the bunker seal to the right, we will have three furnaces behind a window. The space that we left here before, will be used for drop boxes for when you quickly need to depot something. This is how you seal the bunker. Place a half high twig foundation with the soft side showing inwards. Onto this place a floor triangle upgraded to metal. If we now spawn in on our sleeping bag on the inside, we can destroy the twig, breaking the bunker and allowing us to leave. By now the base is only one wall strong, so we will add some honeycomb. This will mostly be made out of stone with metal one there where the unlootable is. Instead of upgrading the wall in the middle of the honeycomb to metal, you can leave it as stone, as it will be two stone walls or one metal wall equaling to the same rockets. Build yourself a little jump up to get up here and add honeycomb to the roof in the same style as the honeycomb below. Back on the inside, you can also start upgrading the things inside of here to metal. Over time you will want to phase out your starter items from the core, so I will remove them here. In which order you do these steps is up to you, but now I will upgrade the unlootable to armored by spawning in the bag inside to achieve our desired raid cost. Back in the 2x2 we will now build our main loot room. This is a very common design of my channel. If you want to know how to build it, link to the tutorial in the top right corner. 
These shotgun traps aren't necessary, but might become a surprise for an unsuspecting raider. Another shotgun trap can be added here, slowing down people trying to go deep a lot. Now we add the utility items. You can begin by adding a medium battery into this corner. If done correctly, a locker will barely fit against this wall. Your tier 3 goes here with a small box beneath, and now another locker will fill out this left space. This large battery can be used for an auto turret that you could put here to slow down raiders, which would most likely come through doors. A campfire can be put here and two tuna can lamps would be enough to fully light up the core, allowing you to even at night access your unlootable and all boxes. Come and join my Discord, link on the screen and in the description down below if you want to talk to me. Many thanks to Alliator and Rusty Stonks for supporting the channel by becoming members. Thanks for watching, until next time, later!